Okay. Um, recently I've seen some fascinating uh, devices uh, for uh, cleaning the sensor. And by fascinating, I mean radically insane. Um, I uh, pointed you out to one of them, which was uh, the lollipop of, uh, of evil, of hell. And many people actually have used that on their Nikon sensors. See, sometimes the infrared pass filter is on top of the glass. Sometimes it's sandwiched between two layers of glass, which is over the sensor. And these people would just rip the infrared pass. <laughs> I mean, that's a very, very expensive repair. The lollipop of death is actually created by Pentax. Um, yeah, there's no way that that thing would ever remove a smudge or an oil spot, which like the D600, D610 are famous for. And then recently I was pointed to another video where it looked like, you know, one of those little miniature vacuums you'd use on your keyboard, so like a, a dust buster that you stuck in your camera. Oh my God, what a bad idea. And by the way, if one of those little hairs from the bristles, uh, the the head of that thing, were to come loose and get lodged between the shutter blades, it would cause premature failure of the shutter mechanism. And the shutter blades, you see, most people don't, almost everybody doesn't take cameras, but they are really thin and fragile. They also burn really good. They're actually uh, Teflon-coated Kevlar. They they burn really, really fast, too. It's fun to burn shutter blades, actually. Um, so I thought I, uh, in, uh, you know, in honor of crazy, insane, bass Ackwards, um, sensor cleaning devices that, um, I would, uh, you know, create my own crazy, destructive, um, insane sensor cleaning device. And I've got a pair of them here. And, uh, they're brass knuckles. These are actually old-fashioned brass knuckles. These are the real deal back from the uh, 70s. Um, now, these are also called, um, uh, downtown, they're called knuckle dusters. And I thought that, that if they're good for dusting your knuckles, then they must be good for dusting your sensor. So what I actually have here is a real sensor, a real sensor from an Icon D7100. The sensor side is facing me, so I thought that I would use these knuckle dusters to uh, tune up and clean my uh, camera sensor here, you know. Yeah, I'm obviously not a boxer. <laughs> let's, spin, let's spin this back into location. One, two. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it did a pretty good job. I don't see any dust on there. So, there's my idea. It is as equally valid as those, um, <laughs> those other sensor cleaning devices that I've seen people using. Um, they're good for dusting your knuckles. They have to be good for dusting your sensor, right? I mean, logically, it makes sense. I think there's a crack. I see a crack that I created. Yeah, there is. There's a big crack on the front of the sensor now. Whoops! Did I drive my point home? Was I a little too heavy-handed in making that point? I don't know. You decide. <laughs>